In this lesson, moving forward, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate additional or advanced TCP IP commands using the command prompt. So before I actually demonstrate, once again, the port numbers, these are important and I'm showing you so that you can actually remember these. You'll come across situations where you'll be asked for just a port number. So the FTP or the file transfer protocol port number is 20 and 21. Telnet is 23, 25 is SMTP and so forth. So basically the IP address provides the connection to the correct machine but it cannot distinguish the different service that is required. So the port number is used for this purpose. It distinguishes the application and the value can be from 0 to 65535. So basically the data that passes through a port number specifically, it knows that this data is for the file transfer protocol, Telnet, World Wide Web, and so on. Let's take a look at some of the advanced commands, TCP IP commands. I'm going to show you three important ones. There are several of them, of course, but the most important one are the getmac, arp, and nslookup. And each of them has its own distinct usage and the output. First, the MAC address. Before I actually demonstrate the getmac command, the media access control address or the MAC address of a computer is a unique identifier assigned to network interfaces, in other words devices for communications at the data link layer of the network segment or the OSI layer. Every piece of hardware by the way on your local network has a MAC address in addition to the IP address. So now you have a house address but you also have in addition a MAC address assigned to it by the local router or server. So the get MAC command simply returns the MAC address and a list of network protocols that are associated with it. With each address for all the network cards in your computer, for example, or across the network, either locally or over your local area network or wider area network. So the example of a MAC address is shown. It is basically six octet number, right? And each octet has eight bits. So the first three octets are basically the unique identifier, also known as the OUI. And then the last three octets are the NIC, or the Network Interface Controller. So once again, all devices, physical devices on your network, on your computer, they have a MAC address specified by the manufacturer. Next command that we'll take a look at is the ARP command or the ARP command. It's the address resolution protocol. Performs IP address to media access control address resolution for outgoing packets. So here it matches the IP with the MAC address. As each outgoing address IP datagram or packets is encapsulated in a frame for instance, source and destination MAC addresses must be added. So determining the destination MAC address for each frame is the basic responsibility of the address resolution protocol. And finally, the third most important advanced command that I'm going to talk about and demonstrate is the NSLOOKUP, which is a network utility program used to obtain information about internet servers. As the name suggests, this utility finds name server information for domains by querying the DNS system. So if I were to do NSLOOKUP, google.com for example, or any other website, it will give me the results and the output as well. So next, let me go ahead and demonstrate these three important commands. So let's open up the command prompt. So once I'm in the command prompt, here I'm just going to go ahead and first show you the basic get Mac command. So I'm going to go ahead and do get Mac. That's all I have to type. Hit the enter key and notice it will give me the actual physical addresses and then the transport names as well. The physical addresses are six octets and these are the MAC addresses for the devices. I can also use parameters with the get Mac command. So for example if I do get Mac and then space 
forward slash v it'll give me the actual details as well so not only just the ethernet or the connection name such as wi-fi for example it'll tell me the actual physical device which is the realtek pci card the mac address and then the transport name similarly for the bluetooth network virtual box host and so on so all of my network connections with attached mac addresses and the transport names the next command i'm going to show you is the arp command so it's address resolution protocol it's arp and i'm going to use the parameter dash a with a space hit the enter key and notice what this does it simply gives me the interface which is the ip address and then of course the internet address and it matches with the physical address or the mac addresses and it also shows you the type whether it's dynamic or static and it does this for each ip address so let's go ahead and clear out the screen here the third important command is the ns lookup so if i were to do let's say ns lookup space and then i'm looking for a url right or a domain name it could be any domain name so let's go ahead and i'm going to use one of them called claydesk.com hit the enter key and notice it gives me the server information which at this point doesn't find it, it says unknown address is 192.168.1.1 and next it shows me the actual non-authoritative answer which is the actual domain name and then the isp or the service providers ip address similarly if i were to do ns lookup and you can of course practice with this any other name so i can go ahead and just type lookup space and let's go ahead and do microsoft.com enter same thing it shows me the actual first my local and then the non-authoritative answer which is the microsoft.com and then the various addresses so it's a good utility to use so i just wanted to demonstrate the important tcp ip commands so practice with these and let's move to the next lesson